Our goal was simple, an on-water adventure to go. We set off to rediscover a few popular travel destinations by landing and launching as light and as fast of a paddling escape as possible. Which gets interesting when you decide to start in Las Vegas on St. Patrick's Day during spring break as March Madness is kicking off. David was on his way back from a cold, wet winter camping in BC's Queen Charlotte Islands when he met me at the airport. We got a little spun out in the stream of people and the barrage of lights battling for your attention. Just thinking just how unnatural it all seemed. You just have to get out of town. Getting off the strip, into the sunrise, over the desert, and onto the Colorado River. Launching at the base of the Hoover Dam was pretty crazy, staring 800 feet up at our last unnatural marvel of the trip, and we just turned the corner into the canyon and started easing into river time. Staring down 30 feet through cool, clear water, right to our reflections flying over the green river bottom was as much of a St. Paddy's Day celebration as we needed. When we finally pulled up onto an empty gravelly beach, we made our, our own all-you-can-eat buffet, a mix of couscous and veggies, pre-cooked chicken, expired sriracha sauce. The only light was a waxing half moon over a sheet glass river, sharing stories around the crackling fire. Found out David had never actually been on a desert river. When he woke up and roused the next morning, he was just amazed he didn't have to deal with damp or wet gear, or wet sleeping bag. Nothing on the schedule. Spend a day exploring the canyon, climbing up side grottos, checking out some hot springs, jumping off cliffs, and just slowing down and taking it easy. Setting up our hammock, beat the midday heat. Dipping in some side caves as the canyon walls narrowed. Hitting the takeout ramp, folding the boats back up. Kind of flexed my shoulders, feeling sore after two days well spent. Just thinking about how I'd been to Vegas before and had my share of debauchery, but I've never left getting back on that plane feeling this refreshed and energized.